what, I mean, obviously you had a really nice night tonight, but not a team win. How do you, what do you make of this night? Uh, it's real frustrating. We didn't come out with the outcome that we wanted to and that we planned for, but at the end of the day, we just got to learn from our mistakes today, take it into next week and, you know, correct those mistakes that we made today. A lot of times we shot ourselves in the foot. Can't have that, especially against a team like UCLA. Did you know beforehand that you were going to have such a big role in the game today or did you find out if the game won? Really, I don't pay attention to like whether or not I'm going to have a big role. I'm just throughout the week and throughout this whole process, I've always, you know, took it upon myself to make sure that whenever my number is called, I'm ready to contribute to the team. And I feel like the guys up front and our White House did a great job of blocking and it, it just happened out. It just panned out that way, you know, Tay, we feed off his energy, you know, so he's a, he's a great dude. I mean, that's my that's my guy for real. And every time I came to the sideline, he was always giving me pointers, you know, uh, what to look out for, what, what the defense is bringing, what I'm doing well at. So we just have a great relationship with all the RBs in the room and we're, we're a real tight unit. So we feed off each other. Yeah. You've played a lot of USC UCLA games now. What felt different about this one to you, if anything, compared to the ones in the past? I wouldn't say much felt different except the fact that we lost today, but it's a tough loss and we did do a lot of mistakes, but when it came down to it, UCLA executed better than we did as a whole. What did you see from Jackson, just kind of how he ran the huddle and ran the game? I seen a, dude, a young dude come in with confidence, swagger, and just, you know, poise. Regardless of the ups and downs of the game, he was really there to, you know, keep the guys straight, not too high, not too low. Young guy, but age really didn't matter. He, he played out there like a vet. You know, he, he played cool, calm, and collected. Every time we were on the sideline, he was trying to keep the old line up. And that's what you want to see out of a QB. Uh, I, they, they, they have a, our QB room has a tight relationship, just like every room in our, in our, uh, our team. So, you know, the, the same way we feed off each other in the running back room, I, I feel like, you know, Keaton, Keaton did a great job of, you know, passing pointers down. Can you walk us through your first touchdown, the one where you ran through a guy in the back? You got hit in the back and then he kind of ran through it to a seven yarder. Um, it's kind of like a, a state of flow where you just, once you're in the game and you kind of get a feel for the game and you know, once the ball is snapped, it's kind of just like reaction. So everything that I've worked on, you know, throughout the season and the off season, it just came to fruition, you know, making somebody miss in the backfield. But after I made him miss, I didn't have to do much because the O-line did a great job and the tight ends and the wideouts of blocking everybody else. So all I did was really walk in. And uh, God is good. Let's do one more. Do you guys feel the pressure just because you know you need those two wins to get to bowl eligibility? No pressure. It's a process and uh, we're looking forward to, to the opportunity to compete. And we're gonna do our best because we, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, having, making sure our culture is strong, make sure we come into work every day, and make sure when it comes to Saturday, we execute. All right. Thank you, bye. Thanks, Thank bye. You.